Anthony Mackey, welcome to the Daily Social Distancing Show. What's up, man? I'm happy to social distance with you. You know, you were one of the last people I had as a guest before the world shut down. I think it was February 2020. And I remember laughing with you, having a good time with you. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be doing this all the time. And then everything shut down. The last time I spoke to you, you were building houses for fun with your own hands. Are you still doing that? I am, actually. I'm waiting um, for some uh, vanities to come in now. I'm finishing this house, uh, actually, right down the street from my house. And then I'm starting on my man cave. So when you come to New Orleans, you'll be welcome at my man cave. What is it about New Orleans that you love so much, man? Uh, it's the best city in the world, man. I say it over and over, and I'll say it again. If you look at the history of New Orleans, like, you know, if, if you look at the food, you look at the music, we have a season called Festival Season, where every weekend there's a different music festival. I mean, there's no other city like that in the world. You know, it's, it's the people, you know, you go into a restaurant, whoever making the food instantly becomes your family member. You wow. know, it's just, there's nothing like it. Let's talk about your latest success, man. I always wondered how you would tell the story of the Captain America journey, how you would tell the story of the passing of the shield. I never thought that Bucky would be a part of it. I never, I mean, I loved Bucky just as a character, but I never thought it would turn into the story. But I think even more surprising was how um, nuanced the conversation was in and around America, what America is, what institutions are, what the systems are, and how as a black man, even in the superhero position, your character was dealing with these stories. Talk me a little bit about, talk to me a little bit about like just how you put all of that together and how you guys made sure that it wasn't just like a caricature of what's happening in America. Well, I think a lot of that had to, all of that had to do with Malcolm uh, Spellman, our writer. He really like went down that road and fought for the acknowledgement of that turbulent relationship between black men and America. Right. And, you know, the question that we, came up with and we kept asking each other every page, every scene, every time we would, uh, every time we would talk is how do you deal as, as a black man, you're in an abusive relationship with America. So how do you fight for stand up and risk your life for a country that has never given you any love, support, appreciation, or trust, you know? So it's, it's, um, it, it's one of those things where, you know, when we talked about it, just two black dudes chopping it up. You know, right, it, it right. really, and then like Kari, <laughs> she, she is the most down female I've ever met in my life. And every time we would try to pull a punch, she's like, nah, we going all the way in, <laughs> you know? So it was, uh, it was, it was an amazing, uh, group of people from different perspectives and different right, backgrounds right. to be able to make it a realistic situation for the character and not something that was, uh, you know, made up or fictitious when, when uh, put on the screen. When, when you're playing that character and when, you, when you're even thinking of this journey of becoming the black Captain America, I mean, you know what comes with it, like coming the first black Captain America. It's safer to just stay as the Falcon because it's just like, yo, you're the Falcon, you just stay in your corner and you do your thing, you got your wings, you're good. But you know as soon as you take that shield from the white dude, there's a lot of people that are gonna be like, oh, you getting the shield just because you're a black man? You got the shield now because it's your, why the black man gotta have a shield? Why you get what I'm saying? Like, when you even have these conversations with fans of the universe, or when you talk about it as Anthony Mackie, like, how do you break it down for people? Well, what's been interesting, and I expected to have those conversations, I expected that to be the internet buzz, but I haven't received that or seen that at all. Like, you know, it's easy for us to look at the news and look at what's going on and say, all people are bad, the world is going to shit. But the reality of it is most people are good people. You know, right. and a lot of people are really excited about the idea of the Falcon becoming Captain America and what that means, not only in the cinematic universe, in the comic book universe, but in our true reality. You know, because it gives a younger generation a different perspective and a different way to look at the world. Right. You know, and that's what's cool and that's what I'm so excited about. Because when, you know, when my kids have a, a, a birthday party, you know, it, it looks like a damn crayon box in the backyard. Like, I don't know <laughs> what, what, like, you know, <laughs> but <laughs> at the same time, that's the way it's supposed to be. Like, it, it's supposed to be a, 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 a mic, a, a, America's a melting pot. You know, it's supposed to be a microcosm of little people from little backgrounds having little fun in their little way. And I think this is a, a blip on the radar of what that next generation is going to look like, which is what I'm so excited about, you know, because we're only as effed up as our parents and our grandparents were. Right, right, and right. My, 
only goal by becoming Captain America is not to pass on the, the lineage of effed on nature that came from the generation before me. Yeah, man, I, I think you do a great job of that, and I think that's what makes the show exciting. I'll be honest with you, I want to be in a Marvel movie not to be in a Marvel movie. I just want to get your guys' fitness plans. Everybody who is in a Marvel movie has a body that just, like, I don't care who you are, the men, the women, you, 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 look, like, you look like statues from, like, ancient Greece now. That's what you look like. I mean, look at your arms right now. Your arms look like you're holding the ground down instead of the ground holding you up. That's what you look like. I want to know from you, Anthony Mackie, can you eat jambalaya? Can you eat everything out there in, 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 in New Orleans and still be, like, Captain America? Is, or do you have, like, a, I only eat boiled fish and, like, old rice? No, nah, it's, uh, you know, it, that's the hard part. During quarantine, I learned a lot about myself and a lot about, uh, you know, my family and our relationship and the importance of having those people, you know, near and dear to your heart. Yeah, man. Man. Yeah, I'll right. tell you what, man, like, you know, being able to, like, go fishing and social distance and fry fish on your porch every day is a problem. That is a fat <laughs> problem, dog. I was... I mean, midway quarantine, I was like, yo, I'm starting to look like Fat Thor. Like, I got to figure this out, you know? It was, <laughs> it was, that was my only downfall because I literally just, like, cut off, you know? No training, no nothing, because it was just me at my house. So I would go fishing by myself. I would, you know, cook for myself. Then when friends would come over and, you know, my sisters would drop off, like, potato salad and, like, everything I'm not supposed to be yep. eating. Yeah. That's the reality, you know, so it, it takes the, you take the four months, like right now I'm in like the end of the first month of the four month process okay. to get back away from Fat Mackie to Movie Mackie, because Fat Mackie is real. What, what I like though, I like that you've just said that, you know why? Because I think I'm one of the people who thought that this was just like, like I like that you said it's four months. So now when I see the body, I'll be like, okay, it was four months of like, like a chef preparing the meals and the training program. I, I like that, thank you. Cause I, I saw, I would see the pictures and I'll just be like, how does he do that? And then I'll go do 20 pushups and I'll be like, my body doesn't respond accordingly. But now I understand that there's work in it. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you for the time. Thank you for always being amazing. Thank you for building those houses. Thank you for being you. And uh, it's always a pleasure to have you. Congratulations, Cap. Blessing to be in your presence, my man.